It will kill. Help support the companies that support our community. I got this piece of wood on our last road trip. We were down in Southern California, coming back from Phoenix, and we stopped by the Salton Sea. It's a pretty eerie place, but it's definitely something, if you're down there, go see it. It's, it's pretty neat. It used to be a resort back in the heyday. This little tool here, you probably see me use it in other videos, but it's a little pneumatic sander. You pump it up with air to fill up that little bladder. It works fantastic, and I got some new sanding sleeves from Klingspor, and they are top quality. I switched brands and they are fantastic. And you can put it on the lathe. It's perfect for doing odd shaped pieces and sanding them. You can, I use it a lot on just a cordless drill. It works great. The Salton Sea is, it's just something you need to see. It's kind of, it, there's a whole community around there and there are some nice places around there, but the majority of it is, it's just a dead lake. The over agriculture down there killed all the oxygen in it. So all the fish and everything died and the shore re receded It's probably two, 300 yards from the boat, boat launch where it used to be. Um, but it's just, the whole shoreline is littered with fish skeletons and, and just about everything you can you could find down there. It's uh we walk down off the boat dock and there's just uh you know office chairs sitting next to the shore. I have no idea why who drug it down there but it's just kind of an eerie place but it's definitely uh I would put it on your bucket list.
found this piece of braided leather in the garage. I think it was off an old jacket or something, but it worked out great for this. I just got some really short nails and pin nailed it up at the top and then went ahead and just wrapped it around the whole thing and then tied it off at the bottom. I left it a little bit long. I wanted to maybe do a little bit of braiding on it or something, but I went ahead and nailed it at the bottom and then wove them underneath to, to make it tight. I was trying to braid something. I couldn't figure out how to do it and get a bead or something in there. But Robin had made a dog collar for Samson, a dog that passed away a few years ago. And so they're really cool beads. They have, have skulls on them. So she let me take one off of it. And I was trying to weave it on there, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So anyway, I don't have any footage of Robin actually weaving and putting the bead on, but I do have some more pictures from the Salton Sea, and these are even eerier than the first ones. So enjoy that, why Robin, uh, just imagine Robin braiding the bead on. I don't want to dwell on all the bad stuff because there really are some nice places down there, and it's a shame what happened to the lake. The spot we went, it looks like they have an ultralight club down there and they even have their own runway. It's just a really cool spot where we were at. There were four or five of them flying around while we were down there looking around for the piece of wood. There we go, I got the bead on and that is a good looking French braid. It was a fun project. When we were down there, we were just kind of looking around for some wood to do some sort of project with, and we found this. I know it looks like it is a soft piece of driftwood, but because of the climate down there, this thing is solid. It, I don't know how long it had been floating in there, but or what kind of wood it is, but thought it was just, just cool, and by the time we, you know, made it back to camp, we decided we were gonna do a hatchet with it, because it's just, just cool looking. And I don't know, I still have the rest of it, so I might make something else out of it, but it was it was a fun project, and I love it. It just looks uh, caveman, you know, apocalyptic. It's 19 inches long, and the ax head is just under six inches, and I got that, just found that on eBay, so. I think it looks awesome. And everything came out good. Robin even did a nice job on the French braid. But it was a fun one. Um, yeah, I just finished the whole thing with uh, with the doctor's oil. I finished sanding it with that and then put that, that polish over it. But I just, I love all the little burls on it. Like I said, I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it definitely has burls. Those are burls on it. They're not just little knots, but it's super cool. All right, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.